Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, welcome back to the channel. And two weeks ago, I made a video reviewing this car. It's been two weeks and 500 miles later, let's do another review on it. I mean, what can you really say? It's a Honda, you know? So for after having this car for two weeks, I, I really enjoy it. I am pleased with the decision that I made to trade in my FK7. Uh, don't get me wrong, I do miss it. Um, but other than that, you know, this car is great. If you're not into the horsepower and you're into the economy, and a smooth ride, great handling car, sedan, four-door, I think this is the car for you. One of the top five things that I don't like about this car, number one, is the idle control. I can't stand it. You have to turn it off every single time you get in the car, unless you want it on. That is the number one thing that I really dislike about this car. Um, the auto lane control, I'm not too much of a fan of either. I had it happen to me one time and I turned it off where I was over in the, against the yellow line. It threw me over to the white line, past the white line and back over the yellow line again. And I tried to duplicate it. I couldn't get it to duplicate. So I just turned it off so it would never happen again. That is definitely not uh, how it should be. Um, I think when I take it back to the dealer, I'll maybe have them take a look at it. Especially if I turn it in, I'll definitely say something to them about it. Maybe it just needs a new calibration. And I don't think that's something that you can do on your own. I'm pretty sure uh, the only the dealer can do that. The gas mileage in sport mode, especially with the AC on. I'm getting horrible gas mileage. Right now I'm at 23.2. Not good. As far as city goes, yeah, if you're a normal and eco, it's probably pretty good. But when you have sport and the air conditioner on, Man, it, it sucks the gas down. I've already had to get gas three times already, 500 miles. The other thing too is you can't put the back seats down, which I really wish you could, but I mean, it's not that big of a deal, really. Uh, I knew it when I bought it. So again, not that big of a deal. And then my last one is, and this is probably just a fluke thing. It's like the miles per hour on the dash has been off twice. I was going 70, yeah, I was going 70 and a 65. So I'm in a 65 mile an hour zone, and it says I'm in a 55. But other than that, those are my only complaints about this car. And they are very, very minimal, very minimal. Now the top five things that I love about this car, number one, I've already made a video about it, the handling. second thing I love about this car that Honda finally went back to the knobs on the radio and the knobs for the AC I missed that so much and I know a lot of other people did too so I'm glad for that to be back now number three I mentioned earlier would be the gas mileage in normal and eco mode I know those have to be good so I'm gonna throw that in as one of the top five reasons that you should buy this car the car has a lot, number four, the car has a lot of space. It's extremely roomy. Or my six foot four, six foot five friends could come in and sit in here and their heads not hit the roof. A lot of space on the back. The seats are comfortable. Pretty comfortable car, I must say. And number five would be the AC. Sorry, I had to turn it on real quick just so you could hear it. I wish you could feel it because it finally blows cold. My 17 didn't blow cold at all. A lot of people are taking theirs back in for recalls for the condensers. Man, this thing blows cold. I love it. It even gets the windows all icied up which then you know it really blows cold when that happens. But I mean, I really cannot complain about this car. It's great in all aspects other than horsepower, which it doesn't have, it doesn't have horsepower. It's got 158, 
which is much at all, but it's enough. You throw it into sport mode, it gives you that little bit of extra oomph that you need to pull out somewhere or to make an evasive maneuver. Um, but other than that, there is no horsepower in this car. I have many people come up to me complimenting me on the car. Man, I really like it. What is that? It's like, oh man, that's the new Civic. Oh, I thought it was an Accord. A lot of people think it's an Accord. One, it looks a lot longer. The front end kind of looks like an older Accord in a little bit roundabout way, I guess. But not really. Because the Accords have changed their look so much. Um, but I've got nothing but really compliments on this car. Not too many people have said, oh, I don't like it. I'm, you know, I, I'd say it's about 95%. Of all the people that have said anything to me about the car, I've really liked it. They like the interior, they love the color. They like the wheels, they like the black and the blue together. You know, so. Personally, I really enjoy this car. Again, I'm not gonna have it a long, a long time. And that's my own decision. But I wouldn't have a problem keeping this car if I didn't already have plans to do something else. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, this is a great car. I recommend it for anybody of all ages, to be honest. Young, old, doesn't matter. But I'm a Honda guy, and I love pushing more people to Honda just because it's a great, reliable car, no matter if it's an older one or a newer one. So if you like the video, please hit that like button. If you stay to the end of the video, please make sure to subscribe, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.